The tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. Dender rocks was dangerous to shipping before they placed lightships there to mark them. Lily lightship was special. She was equipped with a loud foghorn and a bright light which could be seen for miles and miles around. I had the contract to keep her ship shape and shining, which kept both 10 cents and sunshine busy with the fuel barge. Without this fuel, her light would go out. Oh, well, that's it, Lily. Now you show us the way home. What would we do without you, huh? Nice to be appreciated, boys. <laughs> You'll be in the regatta parade, I suppose. I never see any of it from out here. Uh, pity that. We'll stick a light and fog on sunshine and ain't creamier. <laughs> so you can. Hey, do you mean I'm in the parade too, you know? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, must try and get back in. Aye, right, bye, Lily. Uh, we'll tell you all about it. Bye, boys. Hope to see you soon. Later that night, a thick fog came down. As she was thinking about all the fun they were going to have, Lily thought she heard something. It was the throb of a tramp steamer rapidly approaching her through the dense fog. She sounded her horn again and again, but there was no reply. Then, suddenly, out of the fog, the tramper appeared. With a sickening thud, it glanced her side, cutting a huge hole in it. The tramper sped towards Demdo Rocks. It was going too fast to avert certain disaster. The tramper tore into the rocks, rested for a moment, then with an unhappy sigh slid backwards and sunk rapidly. Lily was now in a perilous condition. Water had seeped into her power room and her light fizzled out. All she could do now was wait for help. Dawn arrived. Lily looked around anxiously, but there was no one to help her. Suddenly she saw lots of bubbles on the surface quite close to her. It was Grampus, the naval submarine. Mayday! Grampus! Mayday! What the? Lily, you're... you're... I'm sinking, Grampus, sinking. Please help me, please. Nasty hole, Lily. Right on your waterline. If I tried to tow you in, you'll ship more water and sink. Well, go and get help, quick. Hmm. Just a minute. I've a better idea. If I can plug it with my nose, it might do the trick. Oh, no. You'll damage yourself. Don't worry about me, Lily. It's going to work. I'm stopping the bulk of the water getting in. You've already shipped quite a bit in here. I'm pumping out my ballast tanks to keep us afloat till real help comes. Oh, thank you, Grampus. Thank you. Help was indeed on its way. A small fishing boat had seen everything and was now speeding towards the port to inform the Coast Guard. Back at the Star Dock, preparations were afoot for the festival. Top Hat was amusing everyone with his antics when suddenly they were interrupted by a shrill whistle from the Coast Guard messenger. There's an emergency. Lily Lightship is sinking. The captain is correct. She is sinking. The Zeros can't help. So no, address okay. yourselves to the problem and get organized, OK? That's it. You'll have to forget the festivities for a while. I say, is it an outrage? This is an emergency job. I see. OJ, Stop. collect Mighty Mo. Right, you Ten are, cents. Sir. Get a timber barge from Lucky's. Right, sir. That's all we need, an interfering star. Zip, zug, block him. Yeah, boss. You'll bit, boss. Make wait, you two. Zoran, there's an emergency. Always is with you. 
Lily's sinking. Look, I need a timber barge fast. Yeah, oh, that one there will do. What? Oh, no, it won't. It's being unloaded for us. I'm taking it anyway. Complain to Captain Star if you want to. I'll do worse than that. I'm reporting you to Captain Zero. Despite the serious nature of Lily's accident, when Ten Cents arrived, he could hardly believe his eyes. It looked very funny to him. Oh, it looks like a team fish round you, Lily. Very funny. It's okay, Grampus. Ten Cents will pull you out. Just hang on a while longer. Make it soon. My head's giving out. Now listen carefully. I'm going to lift Lily a bit. Ten Cents, attach a line to Grampus. And on command, pull him out. Right, mighty mo. Okay, Grampus. On the count of three, ten cents will pull you free. One, two, three! Oh, I see. Oh, he's really jammed in. You can do it, ten cents. Oh, he's moving now. Yay! Oh, that's it. Yay, yeah, he's clear. Yay! 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 Oh, thank you. Thank you, Grampus, my hero. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Not over yet. She's badly holed, and I don't think we can do much at sea, even with the timber. Lily, we'll have to take you to Lucky's yard. Ten cents? You two, mighty bull. I'll pull her on a bowline. Grampus, you will have a quick inspection as well, just in case. Oh, I'm all right. Just a bit scraped, that's all. Psst. This might be your lucky day, Lily. <laughs> you might get to see the regatta. Shh. Well, everyone might think I did it deliberately. Whilst the rescue of Lily Lightship was going on, Warrior was surprised to find Jack the Grappler, the garbage scooper, basking in the sun instead of working on the heaps of steaming garbage behind him. Morning, Jack. Nice day for garbage. There's no garbage today. What do you mean, no garbage today? There's heaps behind you. No garbage today. But I've got to have garbage. You know, I've got to have garbage. His lordship needs garbage. We all need garbage. It's a festival day or something, so there's no garbage. Is that you, warrior? Uh, yes, sir. It's me, sir. Have you got Lord Stinker with you? He's here, sir. Empty and willing to work, sir. There's no garbage today, right? Well, uh, I can see uh, heaps, uh, piles, stacks, uh, mountains of garbage. You see no garbage, warrior? Jack will tell you there is no garbage, eh, Jack? There's no garbage. Repeat after me, warrior. There ain't no garbage. There ain't no garbage. Good. That is settled. Instead, today is Municipal Garbage Day, a festival of garbage. Hey. Municipal Garbage Day falls on the same day as the big city festival. So, to join in all the fun, we, the Garbage Corporation, are going to make our own barge float. No flowers or fancy bits, just prime, colourful garbage. I don't believe this. This is going to take a very long time. So I'd cut your engine if I was you. Must get started now. Heaps to do. Things get stranger and stranger round here. Suppose it is festival day. Hi, Lily. I've got to go and help Big Mac now. Good luck with the repairs. Thank you, Ten Cents. Enjoy the regatta. Oh, yeah, you bet. Looks like you might see the festivities, Lily. They said you're not too badly damaged. You'll probably be ready tonight. Ooh, I hope they take a bit longer. Then I'll definitely be able to stay. You're far too important to navigation. Come on, Grampus. You better move out, or the Navy will be after you. Don't worry. They know where I am. I think. Ten Cents was quick to find Big Mac and told him all about Grampus and Lily as he went about his work. They were suddenly interrupted by a shrill blast from Blue Nose, the naval tower. Ahoy there! Ahoy! You there! What do you want? We can't stop them, a fleet. This load's urgent. I quite understand, old man. But we are looking for one of our submarines. He is called Grampus. Yeah, I ain't seen him since we left Lucky's Yard. He saved Billy really Lightship from sinking. So he's probably taking a well-deserved break somewhere. Ah, oh, that may be so. But he is one of ours, you know. He is not a civilian plaything. Okay, Blue Nose, that's enough. We haven't seen him, so make wake, okay? My work's important. Oh, your work's important. <laughs> what you need, laddie, is a lesson in naval discipline. Aha! Uh -huh. What has we here? When... Oh, what the... <laughs> <laughs> They're going to blow me up today. Huh? That is correct. What? 
But he's been a hero out there with Lily, and you lot are going to blow him up. That's some kind of thing. No, you civilian lot may not understand this, but us naval types know when we are past it. Instead of rotting in some breaker's yard, we volunteer us for gunnery practice. Targets, you know. But that's not fair. He's still a useful submarine. He does lots of things for us. For you, maybe. For us, he's old and out of date. Now, I can't stand around here join with you all day. Maywark's important. Big Mac will understand that, will you, sir? Mm -hmm. Come on, grab us. Back to base. Target practice at 1,400 hours. Yeah.